So for the next two weeks in the shop, um, we're going to be building a bar. And uh, I'm going to video the whole thing and uh, take you along for the ride. This is the bar that we have designed, come up for, with for the customer. This is the back side of the bar. And the front side will just be a shaker style panel. This piece won't fit in the customer's house in their basement. We're going to leave it the same size, but we're going to build it into two pieces. So for this project, we are going to be using oak to trim the front. And as a backing, we are going to be using three quarter inch oak plywood. This way the grain will match and it'll match when we uh, hit it with some uh, uh, ML Campbell stain. Now this is three sheets of plywood. The front panels, everything else will be attached to those panels from the inside. That the width from the front to the back of all these horizontal and vertical panels, the width will all be the same. But what I did was set the table saw to that dimension and I went through and ripped all my other pieces to that width. So yeah, just a little bit of organization uh, goes a long way to helping efficiency and construction. All right, so I've edge banded the panels that need edge banding, and those will be all the uh, dividers and uh, faces that we'll be showing, the, 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 expised, expised, the exposed plywood that we'll be showing. Um, I just wanted to comment on this portion. Um, this could have been done a few different ways. I'm going with pocket holes, which now from this angle, you can see the pocket holes, but this is where the fridge is gonna go, um, a wine fridge. So none of this in this section will be visible.
So we have all our pieces milled up, all the red oak. We have a four inch base around the bottom and everything else will be three inches. Um, what I'm gonna be doing for joinery, pocket holes and glue. Um, I think that'll be uh, plenty. Screw the frame in from the back side. For the corners here, I was gonna do cut 45s, but in case if that wood expands, I don't want this seam to open up. So I'm gonna do a miter lock. All right, so just in testing with this miter lock bit, um, I've figured a few things out. I've got it set up. I used Stumpy Nub's version or a way process to set it up and it worked out very nicely. Didn't really have to struggle too much, a little minor adjustment here and there, but you know what to look for and where to go once you have your test pieces um, locked up. Now I did uh, uh, my first board flat with the fence set and then I moved the next board vertical and made a cut, put them together and I'm happy with the joint. So. The vertical cut was the hardest. Um, it's probably the way the grain is going. I'm taking a big bite. Um, definitely two feather boards on either side to keep the pressure against the fence. And then um, I'm gonna do it in a few passes. And what I've done, <clears throat> uh, when I had the fence at its furthest point, I put uh, clamps on the back so that I can move it up and do it in multiple passes and not go beyond the max cut position. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I have all the boards set for this uh, orientation for the vertical, and I'm gonna run them all through, adjusting the fence and do it in three steps. And then when I'm done that, then I will adjust my feather boards for the boards going uh, horizontal. So yeah, I've set it up. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to set it up. Go check out Stumpy Nub's video on that process. And uh, also Cabinetry Plus um, Rex over there, he had a very good video on it too. I will tag them both below.
back in the shop after the weekend. Um, I'm going to keep working on this molding. We started with rough, rough cut uh, red oak and I milled it down to three quarters of an inch. Did a miter lock on the corners and now I'm going to do uh, dry fit everything first. So I'm going to cut everything to its proper spot, um, mount the corners in place. I've done this top and I'm going to do the bottom and then get the this middle transition piece set up along with the bottom rails. Um, this way I can get their pro proper measurements, get them cut, um, dry fit them in place, and then I can mark for pocket holes, which is what we will be using.